Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kev's Movie Corner. This week, we are talking about The Godfather. (laughs) The Godfather was released in 1972, one of the quintessential mob movies of all time. Uh, directed by Marlon, uh, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, uh, starring Marlon Brando and Al Pacino as Don Vito and Michael Corleone. Um, great, great mob movie. I mean, if you like a movie, um, if you just like a good movie about family dynamics, it's, it's a good one. Like, you don't, it doesn't even, you don't even have to like mob movies. I mean, that's going to help if you don't like, if you specifically don't like mob movies for the violence or whatever, you may not like this one. But if, if you just like a good movie, this is a great one. Recommended for everybody. Um, on IMF's list, um, it is number two, right behind or AFI's list. I don't know why I called it IMF. AFI's list. Um, it is ranked as number two, right behind Citizen Kane. Um, if you're going to keep those rankings, I would probably move it up to above Citizen Kane. I didn't care for Citizen Kane that much. But The Godfather is a great movie. Um, it has a, a great cast uh, as well. Besides Marlon Brando and Al Pacino, you got James Caan, Diane Keaton, Robert Duvall. you got a lot of big names um, in this movie. Um the whole premise is uh, uh, Don Corleone is um, basically just being phased out and in in old, in poor health. So he's trying to give the family business over to his son, uh, who's played by Al Pacino, who doesn't really want it. Um, but... You know, reluctantly, sometimes with with family, you you have to do what you have to do. Ever everybody deals with that, um, and it 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 just kind of shows the dynamic of how everything comes to be, even though you may not want it to. Um, it is kind of long. Um, if you're not one to sit and watch a movie. It may take you. It may take you a couple sittings. It's almost three hours long. It's two hours and fifty five minutes. Um, so it is a longer one. It's it's totally worth it though. Um, I know we've talked about other movies in the past that are long that could have been shorter. There's probably a couple scenes in this that could have been uh, cut down. Um, the wedding scene is is very long at the beginning and can be very slow. So if you do decide to watch it, just push 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 past that a little bit it'll be fine um it gets it gets it gets a lot a lot more uh fast pace as it goes along um again great movie recommended for anybody who who enjoys just really anything like it's a it's a drama there's there's not really any comedy or anything in it but but it's a great drama uh it's going to take you a while to watch if you're not one, if you're not, um, one to sit down and just watch things like this. Um, so yeah, there's just, I mean, it's just a great movie. Um, everybody's, everybody's heard, um, a few of the, a few of the things from this. I'm, I'm sure if you, even if you haven't watched it, you know, everybody's, Everybody's heard, you know, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse and things like that. Um, leave the gun, take the cannoli. That's from this. You know, they, they, they shoot somebody in a car and then <laughs> and there's some cannolis in there. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. It's, it's just, uh, it's, it's just a really, really good movie. Um, and that's about all I got for you guys this week. Um, these are going to be shorter. Uh, we talked about that last week. Um, you can see I'm just by myself here today. So uh, some of these will be like this. We might have some other people on every once in a while to talk about a movie. But um, for the most part, these are going to be relatively short. So if you guys want this to keep going, watch, um, like, subscribe, 
And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you.